Good afternoon. I'm Clint Satterfield. I'm the Director of Schools in Trousdale County. I know that there's been a lot of information about COVID-19 and maybe how that affects schools. Please allow me a few minutes to explain our thinking about what we're doing in Trousdale County Schools. First and foremost, that the safety of our staff and our students is always first and foremost in the decisions that we make. Most of our decisions are driven by best practice from the uh, Center of Disease Control, the Tennessee Department of Health uh, mandates uh, that have been recently passed out by Governor Lee, and also the best practices for educating children. Secondly, beyond the safety of our staff and students is the continuity of learning. That schools are charged with the duty and responsibility with best educating students. And we want to be sure that we're able to do that even in the event of a long-term closure that we're, expect, uh, that we're experiencing right now. On March the 16th, all our students in grades kindergarten through 12 brought home to some extent an individual learning module. At the time that we sent them home, we anticipated maybe a return to school on around April the 13th. Obviously, from Governor Lee's directive that schools should stay closed through April the 24th, that, that, uh, that extends that time that we anticipated. But if you also notice that the information that was sent home to students was that, that those individual learning modules was from March the 30th through April the 9th. It was never intended for spring break time. We want our students and our families to enjoy spring break. But beginning on Monday, March the 30th, we'd like for you to start working with your students on those individual learning modules. Now, we anticipated that that work would be brought home, I mean, would be brought home, from home, to schools on April the 13th or sometime that we would return. Obviously, with the extended time of April the 24th, then we're going to have to figure out a way to submit the, at work electronically. Our teachers will be working in the coming days and weeks to figure out how we'll do that. We will probably take a picture or capture a couple of important pages that will be sent to teachers electronically, but more information is yet to come on that. What we are presently working on during spring break is with our uh, instructional supervisors and our principals is a new continuity of learning plan. That would take us beyond the uh, April the 9th time that we had for individual learning modules. And uh, we're presently planning that the continuity of learning plans with our teachers and with our principals, and we will release that on uh, Monday, April the 6th. So please be looking for communications about that. And our teachers will begin connecting to our families on April the 6th. Even though our teachers will be working from home, they will be contacting our families and our students from home about how to do the continuity of learning plans. Remember that our continuity of learning, our goal is to reduce the amount of learning that's lost due to closure. Everybody knows that during the summer, learning is lost for the seven or eight weeks that we're out of school. If you can imagine tying this extra time onto the summer break, that it's like the summer slide multiplied by by three times. So we want to try to reduce that loss in learning with our continuity of learning plans. Please let me remind you that our continuity of learning plans will be designed to be parent friendly. They will be optional. They will be not great. They will not be graded. And uh, we also want to produce uh, pieces of student work. Uh, we want the assignments to be worthwhile. That means we want them to stay within the curriculum and within the materials that your students are exposed to each and every day when they're in school. We will also deliver it in about three different modes. We know that we have broadband across the county and in places that we don't. We know that some students have access to computers and broadband and some students don't. Therefore, we will be delivering our continuity of learning plans through technology, through a paper and pencil option, and sometimes a blended opportunity where both the technology and paper and pencil. We will also, the, we also have one-to-one -one devices. We have Chromebooks for all students in grades 6 through 12 in ELA, math, science, and social studies. So we have the capacity to loan those uh, Chromebooks out to our students 
and for which we will be doing and more information will be to come. And also during our continuity of learning plans that our teachers will be re reaching out each week to our families and to our students, bringing them, evaluating their, uh, the work that they submit and talk to them about their needs so we can best reach our students on a week to week basis. There are also some planning things that I've been asked a lot of questions about. One of the things that we're presently doing is working with Ball State so that our juniors and seniors who are doing dual enrollment, which is online at Travis County High School each and every day, that they, we can extend those online learning experiences for our students. Ball State says that we'll be able to continue to do that, and I think we only have three students that don't have individual devices, and we'll be sending Chromebooks home with them in the next coming days and weeks. So uh, they'll be able to be able to get their credit this year. We're also very concerned about our seniors. You know, that's what we do is we accelerate and graduate students for the pat for the careers of tomorrow. And we want to be sure that when our seniors leave Travis County High School, they're prepared for college and careers. So we are working with our guidance department and Miss Dickerson to ensure that all the information that our seniors need to register for college will be there just like they've been in school and also that all our transmit uh, transcripts are uh, are transmitted to their colleges and university in a timely manner so that they can enroll in college in uh, in a timely manner upon graduation we're also concerned about our underclassmen and being sure that they are able to register and sign up for the courses that they want for the 20 for the 2020-21 school year. We're also exploring ways to do that, maybe online through a Google document or something in the event that we're not able to return to school. Next is that we want to be sure that we have a, a community eligibility provision where all of our students in Trousdale County eat free breakfast and free lunch. We want to extend that new, a nutrition program to all of our students during the duration that we're out of school. Beginning on Monday, March the 30th, we're going to provide a grab-and-go lunch breakfast opportunity at Trousdale County High School between the hours of 7, I mean, excuse me, 11.30 a.m. and 1 o'clock p.m. Uh, the students, they don't, nobody has to get out of the car. They just drive up to the front of the, the uh, school, and then our uh, food service staff will be able to deliver them the meals that they need. Uh, students do not have to be present but you will also have to tell us how many students you need, how many meals, so that you can take them. We'll also be looking at other options to deliver meals to students in the case we need to extend the program uh, to better service our students. Lastly, I know that you have, you have a lot of questions, and sometimes you don't know where to go. Even though that our schools and our central office is closed at this time to protect our employees, that... Uh, uh, Amanda Carmen, our school secretary, has call forwarding. It goes directly to her cell phone. So you, during business hours, you can call Trials County Board of Education at 615-374-2193 at any time about any questions that you may have, and she'll be able to get those messages to the right people in central office. You're also free to, to email me at clintsatterfield.tcschools.org at any time, and also our principals at their emails. They can, they'll be taking emails at all times. We will also be posting information as it becomes available on our TC Schools website, also by our automatic text messaging and our social media post as well. Currently we're on spring break. Next week we move off of spring break and all our employees will be working from home. We've already been working with principals and supervisors via Zoom conferences which have worked pretty well to avoid meeting in person and jeopardizing the health and safety of our employees. We also, our essential services, such as our food service and our maintenance staff, uh, have been working and they continue to work so that we can best serve our students. Our teachers will begin planning on Monday, March the 30th through April the 3rd. And during this planning time, they will be developing the best way to uh, to develop our continuity of learning plans that again that we'll make available on April the 6th. A lot of people ask me about our extracurricular activities. Unfortunately, 
All our extra activities have been suspended until we can reopen school. All our facilities are closed and we cannot begin, uh, resume any extracurricular activities until school begins. That affects our spring sports, also some questions about the senior play, and unfortunately the prom. Now we hope that we'll be back in school by graduation time on May the 22nd. However, we've already, our Board of Education has already expressed an interest that they want to be sure to try to do something to recognize our seniors in the event that we're not able to have a graduation ceremony as we have had in past years. One of the options that we're looking for is, is having a graduation ceremony at Trousdale County High School where our a regular graduation program but do it by live stream so that our families could uh, access that through our uh, school website. But hopefully we'll be back, back in school. But nevertheless, we will have some type of graduation ceremony for our seniors and our diplomas are already here in hand. Lastly is this. These are unprecedented times. We haven't seen anything like this happen before. And the, uh, and the conversation of individual learning modules, continuity of, of, uh, of learning plans, and extending educational opportunities outside of the school and outside of the school day is new to us. But we know that the education of our children is important. And we want to be sure that we deliver that, whether we're in school or out of school, whether we do it through technology or whether we do it through paper, pencil means, or whether we do it in a combination of different modalities. But we do know this, that in the, the great educator John Dewey once said, what the wisest man does for his own children, we should do for all children. This is something that we're going to continue to do while we're out of school to mitigate the summer slide and the loss of learning due to the time that we're out of school. I will be providing more information by, on our website at www.tcschools.org. Please be looking for that. We'll also be using text messages and maybe more videos like this. Even though I don't like doing these videos, if they are help, I'll be glad to do them in the future. So if you've got any questions, please reach out to me or my principals by email, and then be sure to call our office at 615-374-2193, and uh, Amanda will get your questions to the right place. Thank you for your time, and be patient. We're going to get to a better place.